121, forgiveness <coughs> gives me happiness. The whole lesson, if you read it through, is about not about forgiveness, it's about unforgiving mind experience fear, an unforgiving mind experience guilt, an unforgiving mind experience suffering, an unforgiving mind is experience this and that. So basically, just zoom in the cause of all the problems you can think of to one thing, an unforgiving mind. That's what 121, lesson 121 is saying. Then lesson 122 is saying forgiveness offers everything I want. So a forgiving mind brings everything I, I want. Contentment, peace, a deep sense of connection, everything I want. It's through forgiveness. <clears throat> if the cause is unforgiving mind, then the solution is forgiveness, basically. So yesterday, Tina was asking, okay, if the Course is all talking about forgiveness, then how do we do it? How do we do it, basically, this question of how and what? And David was saying, what, are we, what we are forgiving is the illusion. What we are forgiving is attack or judgment that are not true. But what are the judgments that are not true? All the judgments that we see and we think about the world, we think about ourselves, we think about others, are all not true. So that's, that's our job to forgive. And then, you know, what, how do we do forgiveness? That's the most essential question everybody wants to ask. Give me a formula, give me an exercise I can do so that I know how do I do forgiveness. In the Course, Jesus actually said, Forgiveness does nothing. So why don't you just do nothing and allow him, capital H, to show you how it can be done. So in a way that, that is why all these trips that and gatherings we're offering, there is no exercise and formula that we can say, you do it so that you forgive the thought in your own mind because that's not how it is. All we're saying is trust the spirit that get in touch with the inner voice of the spirit and allow him to show you how to change your mind from an unforgiving mind to a forgiving mind. How allow him to show you the falsity of all the judgment about this world and who you are. And this is the way that we live our life, this is the way that we work, so to speak. This is our work and our life and our state of mind are not separate. We don't have work, relationship, life, rest, that, that we behave differently. And that's how I was saying to the work question, we are not going to be satisfied if we um, have different ways of living in our life. And certain part of our life, after work, two hours, we can attend course groups and we express and we talk about how to forgive. Then eight hours of work, we t we're going to do whatever we do. But this is a, we're here just to show you, forgiveness is a forgiving way of living. Forgiveness is a pathway of life, and this pathway of life is not a doing, it's not a doing, it's allow the spirit to guide us to live the way that we live, and that is forgiveness. And it applies to everything we do, it's like the lighthouse, the light has to sweep every corner of our mind and every corner of our life. We have no relationship separate from this. We have no job separate from this. It's a one big flow. There is no separation from, from this being guided by the Spirit. And our lives are so spacious in mind, so to speak. The Spirit can tell us what to do in this very moment. And we have no obstacle that stops us from following. And that's really the message. If you have the eyes to see, this is really the teaching. It's not this. The teaching is, this is a way of living and 
It is a big flow of life. This is how we communicate with each other. Communication is so important. And we trust everything that Spirit guides us to do. We have no structure that we impose on our lives, on our work, on our relationship. It's completely open for the Spirit to tell us what it is. And we're very comfortable to stay in this I don't know mind. And in that, communication is very much a big part because we want to share all our thoughts and not assume that part of the thoughts can be can be false and part of the thoughts can be real, we don't know. If I don't know, then I'm going to fully communicate everything without preference of the result and allow the spirit to guide us and see. And then, you know, the Course will talk about the, the, the characteristic of God's teachers and trust. That's, that's one thing, trust everything. And that's really Another thing that we want to emphasize, trust is our way of living. Trust everything. We don't really talk about the past. We don't really plan about the future. And we don't really talk a lot about the present in form either. Because why? Not because it's wrong. Because the mind is so in trust. We don't need to think about this. We just allow the spirit to show us. And it's completely shown and it's completely followed. And we also trust that we don't have to fix other people because if, if spirit is guiding me, the spirit is guiding everyone. And we just need to support each other to stay in this trust together. And the teacher of God is open-minded because of this trust, because it doesn't know. So that the job, the relationship, the lives are completely, all options are open. We just wait for the spirit to die. And that is forgiveness. That is how I can say what forgiveness is. It's this kind of state of mind and is this kind of flow of life. So that all being said, you know, when the, the forgiveness questions come up or the how comes up, I can just share from my experience in the parable of David that um, when the Course came into my life, I thought, this is an answer to a prayer. And it was very, very specific in the sense that I'd spent all these years in education, you know, grade school, junior high, high school, ten years at the university, decades in education. And the Course used educational terminology, a course in miracles, a curriculum, learning goal. And a lot of my graduate work was, was in psychology. And the Course used psychological language. And I was raised in Christianity. And the Course used Christian language. It's almost like the Course was a concretized form of the prayer of my heart. Like, I want to come to you, God, and I need a pathway. I need something to help me. And it was like, I saw it as an answer, just like Helen and Bill were psychologists, had dabbled in Christianity and Christian science and different things, and were in education. They were research psychologists. The Course came in their language, in their metaphors, as an answer to a prayer. There has to be a better way. Bill Thetford said to Helen, there has to be a better way. And he was surprised when she said, you're right, Bill, and I'll help you find it. And when I prayed, there has to be a way, I need help, I was given the Course. Now, I'll tell everybody, and I've been telling everybody for the last 20-some years, that the how is the Holy Spirit. You see how different that is? We want a how formula. We want a how techniques. And from this experience that Francis is talking about, this experience that we're living, we're living forgiveness. Uh, they talk about living the Course in Miracles, living miracles. We could change our name to Living Forgiveness. Oh, here comes the Living Forgiveness group. Uh, I don't think anybody's aware of that yet. Branded, you guys in Denmark. <laughs> Livingforgiveness.dk. Branded. I mean, I'm telling you, what, when I say forgiveness, the Holy Spirit is the how, I actually mean that. The Holy Spirit is the how. Because what? 
The whole course is just pointing you to get in touch with your own internal teacher, right? That's all the book's for, and the Holy Spirit will say, in course terms, is the internal teacher. And the Holy Spirit is the how, and wouldn't you want a how that's right there with you in the moment, that could give you anything you need. The Holy Spirit will give you everything you need, and, and will renew it as long as you have need of it. That's a pretty good how. That's a living how.